Uh, when I was installed in this job, the title of my installation remarks was a smart and caring nation, a call to service. And each of those two adjectives is important, smart and caring. They reinforce one another. And there are three pillars, family and children, learning and innovation, and uh, volunteerism and philanthropy. And they all come together in what we're celebrating here. The Teen Esteem Youth Project will tackle issues around the needs of youth in the South Okanagan. Research shows that an aging population here has left the local teen demographic feeling left out. Here actually as a mom of a almost 15 year old, um, I'm really excited about this. Teens and adults speaking at the launch identified needs ranging from where teens can go for help to transportation to emergency shelters. Awesome from Hen High. I have a question about the emergency beds. Would they be like co-ed, gender separated? Would they be monitored? <laughs> Yeah, it just came into my head. Those are really great questions, and I'm going to leave the answers to those questions up to a youth committee and an adult committee to work out those details, but those are good points you raised. Thank you. And what I appreciate, I guess, most is out of all those priorities and, and the recommendations that came forward is the spotlight that you're putting on youth and, and for all of us to focus more on youth in the, our community. This is just the first step, and over the months ahead, youth, parents, and the community are asked to put their heads together for solutions. It's amazing to have the Governor General here to help us launch this, and the, the community input at this forum was unbelievable. So exciting to hear the youth speaking up about what they need. That's what we need to do now is engage them in a long-term process to find some real key solutions. A project that's going to have really long-term potential impacts to help young people in the community, and it's coming about thanks to the generosity of one individual. Funding for this initiative is provided by the estate of Miss Rohan Crompton Bell, the bequest in excess of $300,000 will be managed by the Community Foundation of the South Okanagan, the United Way and their local partners. And this committee is going to involve young people from the community, other charities that serve young people in the community. Grassroots initiatives like the one we're celebrating here can develop the teams of people that can come together to solve the problem. And to take the notion of caring about our neighbours, of giving in smart and caring ways, as a central feature of what it means to be a Canadian. That that's something that's just natural to Canadians. We look after our neighbors and we do it in thoughtful, intelligent ways. A major purpose of my office is to connect, inspire and honor Canadians. And one of the ways we do this is by taking the stories of a great local initiative like this and uh, making those stories available to other communities to say, gee, if they can do this well in Penticton, we can do it well in our neighborhood as well. To get involved with the Teen Self-Esteem Project, call 250-493-9311 or click on the website of the Community Foundation of the South Okanagan. For Go Okanagan, I'm Wayne McDougall.